Welcome. So what I want to do is show you how to evaluate sine, cosine, and tangent for negative pi halves. So the first thing we need to do is understand where exactly this point is, or then, the, sorry, this angle. So if I was going to kind of draw a coordinate axis here, we know that if we were going to start in standard form, we'd have 0. And then in the positive direction, our first angle is pi halves and then pi. However, we're trying to graph a point that's at negative pi halves. So therefore, that's going to be down here, all right, if we're going in the negative direction. So therefore, I'm going to have an angle that is going to go extend from your initial point, our initial uh, line here to my terminal side. Now, if I was going to draw my core or my unit circle, remember the unit circle has a radius of 1. Therefore, each one of these points contains 0 and 1. And this point would be 0, comma, negative 1. So now to go and evaluate for sine and cosine, all I simply need to do is just plug in the coordinate points for each one. Because remember, the sine of your angle on the unit circle represents the y coordinate. The cosine is going to correspond to your x coordinate. And the tangent is going to be the ratio of y over x. So therefore, from this problem, I have tan of negative pi halves is going to be for my y coordinate, which is equal to negative 1. The cosine of negative pi halves is going to be 0. And the tangent of negative pi halves is going to equal negative 1 over 0, which is undefined. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you evaluate for sine, cosine, and tangent. Thanks.